Right now, I'm just heartbroken, just shattered. Did he ever talk about driving through the parade route? Did you have he, a conversation with him? Early on. And he does not remember. Every time Daryl goes into a manic where he explodes like that, he does not remember what he did. You have to tell him what he did. He know what you told him, but he can't recall the act. I don't believe from what I've known and what I've seen that Daryl was even in his right mind. He knew what he was doing. Yes, he remembers. I don't believe that he doesn't remember he doesn't remember what he did. I don't believe that. That's a cop out so he doesn't have to talk about his feelings because he doesn't remember. It's bullshit. You need to take accountability for bailing him out of jail. You say you feel sorry. I don't believe that. Your son is a piece of crap. Quit taking up for him. Cut the damn umbilical cord already. He's 41 years old. I don't think he was even conscious to what he was doing. Whose idea was it for him to represent himself? Was it his, yours, he, together? No, I would never advise him to represent, no one to represent himself, especially in a case that's so serious. But he insisted? No, he felt that his lawyers did not have his best interest at heart. So he's been in court and he has taken off his shirt and he has interrupted the judge and the judge has thrown him out saying, you know, you can't keep doing this. His behavior in court, and we've seen this play out, is erratic. Erratic. At times towards the judge disrespectful. What do you say to that? What message would you send to him? I have talked to him about that and I have told him, I said, you're going to have to try to keep a cool head because it's making you look bad. But he's not medicated. They're not giving him anything for his illness. What message do you have for the, the families? I just want them to know that that was not a deliberate act. When you're manic and you... Like I said, yes, he remembers. He doesn't have to be told what he did. He remembers. There's no way you go through all that, do that, and create all that chaos and carnage and not remember it. That's bullshit. You need to quit sticking up for him. He's not a baby. He's 41 years old. He did insist on being his own lawyer. Don't lie and say he didn't. He did insist on that. You're just a big fucking enabler. And by the way, him flipping out in court isn't what made him look bad. That just made people realize he's worse than what he, they thought. What made him look bad and what made everybody realize he's a piece of crap and he is a bad person is that he killed six people, the youngest age eight and the oldest age 81. He killed six people and injured over 60 others and you're still trying to stick up for him and it's pathetic. And yes, by the way, it was a deliberate act. I can't even believe how much you're enabling him right now. This is pathetic. And I think I heard somewhere where you're trying to help him do this appeal. Why don't you just leave your son in prison where he belongs? Because if he was to ever get out, he's just going to hurt more people. It's just pathetic. Out of control, you don't know what you're doing. He didn't know what he, I don't, he didn't know what he was doing. He was not in his right mind. It wasn't intentional. He didn't mean to hurt nobody. We talk about the family often and the victims. And he says to me that he prays for them too. And he has to live with the fact that regardless to what goes down, what happened, six people died. 
because of him. He, he is very, he feel ashamed. You brought up the little Sparks boy. What would you say to his mom tonight? If she sees this, what message would you like to say to her? I would tell her, not just his mom, but his dad and his brother too, that little Jackson, he had his whole life ahead of him. And he's now a sweet angel. He did not deserve what happened to him. And with you saying that he didn't mean to hurt anybody, yes, the hell he did. What about Bill Hospital? What about Leanna Owen? What about Jackson Sparks? What about Jane Kulik? What about Jenny Sorensen? And what about Tamara Durant? What about their family members, their friends, the community? You are just pathetic. You think Daryl should go to prison and for so how long? There should be some accountability to what he did. Yes, ma'am. How long? That's not for me to say. My only concern was that instead of being in prison, I feel he needs to be institutionalized where he can get the help he needs. Saying that message for Jackson Sparks' mom, dad, and brother, do you not think that they know everything you said? And now he's a sweet angel? That little boy was an angel before he died. And now there are so many people hurt because of that because of what your son did. How would you feel if someone ran over one of your uh, grandkids? I'd never wish that on anybody, but how would you feel? Do I think it's fair? No. You know? So you don't think that the sentence was fair? Well, do you think the families of any of the victims, do you think that any of them thought it was fair that your son decided to run down the parade route with your vehicle that you let him drive um, and kill six people and wound so many others, physically and mentally? But it's not fair that he got that big of a sentence? Yes, it is. You know, I don't know why they couldn't go into concurrence. He would not live six life sentences. What do you think he should have gotten? I don't know. What he, they just say he deliberately killed those people. He did not deliberately kill those people. It hurts more than anything. What do you think? You are the biggest freaking enabler I've ever seen. Just like your son is the biggest jackass, jerk, narcissist that I've ever seen. He didn't deliberately mean to hurt those people. Hell yes, he did. You are disgusting, woman, just like he are. He are. <laughs> just like he is. You got me so pissed. I'm talking fucked up. He's thinking, have you talked to him? Or I did, did but him? I won't share. Okay. Did you talk to him yesterday? No, he called me today mm -hmm. after he got out of court. We okay. talked briefly. We also discussed how she plans to move forward now that she'll only see her son behind bars. Hopefully someone, this will bring awareness to mental illness via our senators and our governors and elected officials, court, police. Very little help is done for individuals who are incarcerated with mental illness. How do you feel right now? Right now, I just want to curl up and die. That's how I feel right now. I just want to go somewhere. Just curl up. But I can't. As long as my child is alive, I have to stay alive. You know, I, there's a little crumb of me that feels sorry 
there's a little crumb in me that feels sorry, but for you. Uh, but you know what? You shouldn't have bailed him out. I mean, I don't know what could have been done to change the way he is now, but this is all his fault. Partially yours, honestly. If you wouldn't have bailed him out two days before the incident, you wouldn't, this wouldn't have happened. So, I mean, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know what to say, but what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check the description.